Hi all of my lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Mel. I am a medium and an energy healer. I love to make videos like this about spirituality, things you can do to develop your own gifts and spiritual abilities, and I'm so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, I want to talk about how to strengthen your psychic abilities. So I have a bunch of different techniques that I have used. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do them and then a harder way. So once you get used to this easier way, you can take it up a notch. I'm gonna show you some that you can do by yourself and I'm gonna show you some that you can do with a partner to also take it up a notch. So thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. So the first technique I want to show you is going to be using sticky notes. Now, not just any ones, you wanna get ones, I prefer the square ones, but you want to get multiple colors of sticky notes. You want to have different colors, and then a way to take it up a notch is to also get some that are kind of similar, like this yellow and orange, they're similar. This pink and bright pink, they're similar. So that's a way to take it up a notch right there. So you want to get a bunch of different colors, and what I like to do is take one off of each, take a color of each, what you're going to be doing is holding these in your hand, obviously with your eyes closed, now, this is the honor system, so this is for you. You're doing this for you, so you don't want to cheat. You're trying to get your psychic abilities up. So you would take these pieces of paper. I like to like mix them around, okay? Not looking at it, close your eyes, and then pick up one of the sticky notes, and you're gonna hold it in your hand. Again, you're not gonna look, you're gonna hold it in your hand. What does it feel like to you? Do you see a color in your mind that tells you, okay, hey, I'm holding this orange one? Do you feel something in your body that's telling you you've got the orange one? For example, your solar, I'm sorry, your sacral chakra down here right above your root, it's your second chakra, it's associated with the color orange. Maybe when you're holding this, you feel something in your sacral chakra area and that can indicate to you that you've got the orange in your hand. Some of you might see a color, some of you might feel and experience nothing. Maybe you get a knowing that it's orange. So what you wanna do is do this multiple times. Now I like to do this all the time, whenever. Sometimes I'm at work, if I have a quick five minutes, I'm gonna hold one really quickly and I'm gonna say okay, see what color it is, bam, here it is. So that's a really great technique to build up your psychic abilities is to try to determine what color sticky note you're holding. Now, to take it up a notch another way is to put these inside of an envelope. So now you're gonna be holding the envelope. You're not gonna be holding the paper directly, okay? So then your psychic senses are going to kick in and tell you what color is inside the envelope. That one gets a lot harder, but it really builds up your skills and your confidence because you're taking it up a level. Once you're used to doing it this way, once you've kind of got it down about, okay, well, I feel that this is the hot pink one. I feel that this is the pink one. You're not always going to get it right. That's okay. That's okay. You keep going. But once you've gotten used to that, start putting them inside of an envelope and see how that works for you. My next technique is using highlighters. So I have a few highlighters here. So what you want to do is get highlighters that are the exact same. They don't have to be the same brand. Um, I do recommend they be the same brand because you don't want them to be different sizes. You don't want them to have different caps on them. For example, this one, it's the same size as this other one down here, but the cap is different. So if I held this one, I would know immediately, okay, this is orange, this is different. So they can be the, a different brand, but the cap has got to be the same so you don't feel a difference. So what you're gonna do with this one is the same thing you did with the sticky notes. You're going to pick one up, you're gonna see what you feel. So like we have blue here. Some of you might see the color blue. Blue is associated with your throat area. So you might feel something in your throat. Maybe you cough. Maybe you have a little tickle in your throat. Some of you will see the color blue. So anything that you feel or sense, what you're doing here is building up that psychic skill so that you know what it means for you. 
When I see the color blue, I feel it in my throat. Some of you might see or feel or sense nothing. The whole point of these exercises is for you to develop your skill, how it works for you, okay? So that's what you're gonna do is hold the different highlighters. Now, to make it challenging, I've tried this before and it's, it makes it really challenging, but it, it makes it a little bit funner. I want you to take the cap off of all of the highlighters and I want you to put a different cap. So like blue, I'm gonna put the pink cap on, but I want to guess this color. I wanna guess blue. It's got the pink cap on it, but I'm trying to still guess the color of the highlighter. This really takes it up a notch when you switch the caps. It gives you that extra boost, that extra bump, that extra bit of something, right? It, it really helps you develop your skills. Once you're used to holding the highlighters with the correct cap, put a different color on it. See how that does for you. Another technique that I have used that I really like is taking a sticky note, taking a marker or a pen and writing the letters on the sticky note. So you're gonna write like A, B, C, D, E, F. You can do the entire alphabet to challenge yourself. Doing the alphabet is really hard. Maybe start with the first five letters, A, B, C, D, E, and then go from there. So start with the five letters, write all five letters on different sticky notes. I would suggest doing them on the same color. Don't write them on different colors because that's going to start to confuse you. So start with the letters being on the same color sticky note. Start with the first five letters. As you get used to that, as you're building that up, add more letters to it till you get to the whole 26 letter alphabet. So then you're gonna pick up the sticky note, you're gonna hold it, and you're going to feel what letter it is. Some of you might see the letter, some of you might know the letter, some of you might just have a feeling in your body about what the letter is. You can have any experience you want. It's tailored to you. It's how you work. Each person, each soul is going to feel or know or see or sense these things very differently. So then after you've taken it up a notch to add all the letters, take it up a notch again and put the letters on different color sticky notes to make it a little bit more difficult. So you can also do this work with a partner. You can take things up a notch by having your partner hold one of these colors. Maybe you've got your eyes closed and your partner's holding up a color for you to see, uh, for you to sense, you don't wanna see it, for you to sense and figure out what the color is. That takes it up an even further notch because you're not even touching it. You are trying to sense and get a feel for what your partner is holding up. What you can also do with a partner is use your psychic senses through telepathy. So I do this with my daughter a lot. We love to play this game where we will do numbers one through five and she'll think of a number in her head and I've got to psychically get that information and see what number she's thinking of. We also do it with the letters. So you can tailor any of these to work with a partner as well. Your partner can hold up the highlighter. You can try to sense and guess what color that is. You can have your partner think of a letter and then you've got to psychically get that letter. There is no end to how you can do these techniques, how you can work them into your daily practice to build up those psychic skills. You can take these partner exercises up a notch even further. So you could have the partner right next to you while you're working. Then once you're used to that, have them be in a separate room of the house. Then have somebody who's not in the same house as you. Then have somebody who's not in the same state as you. This really takes things up a huge notch. So I know some of you are like, well, how can that work if they're not in the same state as me? Energy is all around us. We are connected to energy from people that we know, people we've interacted with. We are all souls. We are all connected to this grand consciousness. So we can do readings for people that are not in the same state as us. I've done readings for people in Australia, people in Indonesia. So you don't have to be in the same country even in the same house to have these techniques work for you. So really challenge yourself by finding somebody that doesn't live in the same state as you that you can use these techniques with to build up your psychic skills. 
Another technique that I like to use is with crystals. So you can get crystals to help you with your psychic abilities. Now you want them to be the same shape, the same size. So when you're holding it, you don't automatically know, okay, this one's bigger, this is the that one. This one's smaller, this is the that one. You want them to be the same shape, the same size, okay? So you, again, it's the same technique. You would hold the crystals. Now I like to do it with the crystal. Now I love the sticky note technique and the highlighter technique because they're more challenging. The crystals I like to do because crystals have their own energy. They have their own source of emitting information. Crystals are powerful and strong. And so when you hold a crystal, it does something within you. It vibes you up higher. It makes you happier. Some of them help with anxiety. So your anxiety is lifted. So crystals have an energy all their own. So when you work with crystals, for me, it might be a little bit easier. So for those that are just getting started, just beginning, try using the crystal method first. So when you start to feel the energies, you can pick up better how you are psychically getting the information from these objects. And that will help you figure out how to psychically get the information from the sticky notes and the highlighters. So it's the same concept with the crystals. You're gonna hold one, you're gonna close your eyes, you're gonna pick one up, you're gonna hold it and feel the energy within the crystal. What color is it? What kind of crystal is it? This one here is uh, purple fluorite. Okay, so I would feel, okay, I feel that this is purple. I feel like this is fluorite. Maybe you're holding a rose quartz. I feel this is pink. I see roses. However it works for you, crystals are a great way to start out with these practices of psychic abilities because again, they hold energy and you can feel that energy in your body. I hope you guys have found great value in this video. I would absolutely love it if you would comment down below, come back to this video, let us know how these techniques worked for you, if you like them. Let me know how you sense them. Some of you might see the colors, some of you might feel them, some of you might know them. Leave those comments down below. Come back after you've tried these and let me know how they work for you. I also want to talk about my post from yesterday. I am getting ready to launch my school, Soul Care Courses for the Soul. I'm so excited. I have been working so hard behind the scenes to get this school up and running. There's gonna be so many courses available, courses to help you with mediumship, psychic abilities, shadow work, courses to help you with chakras, understanding your chakras, how to use your chakras for mediumship and psychic work. There are going to be courses for everyone, whether you're spiritual or not, whether you're a beginner or advanced. I'm so excited. I've been working so hard on these courses behind the scenes, and I'm hoping to get these courses up and launched by January 1st. I will come back to each video and leave a description link down below so that you can click to these courses. So once it's up and launched, I will make a separate video, but I will also come back and leave the link in this one and all of my other videos. I'm so excited to be launching this for you guys. It's something that has been passionate in my heart for a long time, and I'm just ready for this adventure. I'm ready to help you guys reach your adventures. So as always, my lovely friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.